What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how wide receivers can use a vertical set move. So we're going to be talking about how you guys can get separation on a fade route versus off-man coverage or zone coverage, and then how you guys can use this specific technique, the vertical set, to build into any kind of inside breaking route or outside breaking route against off coverage. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope this move teaches you a few new things that you guys can add to your tool belt when it comes to running routes. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to train with us this offseason, we are coming out to three more locations for two day long QB and wide receiver training camp. So next weekend, we are going to be coming out to Nashville, Tennessee. Then we will be in Salt Lake City, Utah. And then we're finishing off the tour in Los Angeles, California. So if you guys want some more information on that, you guys want to come out, get some work in with us and see some more, just pretty much what we're going to be working on at the camp. Check out that very first link in the description below where all the information is located. Hope we could see you guys out there. Let's get started with this video. So anytime that we have like this off man coverage, and you have to run a fade. Normally, this is something that we get asked a lot, and um, it's more than just running by the guy. So obviously, what this vertical set move is what he does as soon as he steps on this DB's toes, that hard fake to the inside. Now, pretty much what you were trying to do with this type of move is sell like you're running inside. You're selling like you're running a dig. You're selling like you're running a post just to get this DB to either to hesitate, maybe to stop his feet completely so I can open up some space to the outside. Now, a great benefit of this move is that you do not get squeeze to the sideline. So we look at where this DB's leverage is, right? He's inside shade and he's off man. So we automatically know if I have to run a fade, a lot of wide receivers will just try to take off and run. They will see this type of coverage and they will just try to run around the DB. But this DB, we know because he's lined up inside shade, what's he trying to take away? Trying to take away the inside route, right? So if you just try to run away, that's what he wants you to do. He does not want you to go to the inside. He wants you to go to the outside because the sideline is his help. So if you just try to take off and run, he is going to get hands on your hip, squeeze you to the sideline, and give you maybe about a yard for the QB to throw you open. From a guy who has experienced both positions, that is a very, very tough throw. That is an almost impossible throw. You have to be so pinpoint with your accuracy. So if you don't have a quarterback who's pinpoint, pretty much going to be an incompletion. So you have to threaten the DB inside, and that is what a vertical set can do. You want to close the distance. You want to step on his toes, and you want to make this thing for just a step look like it is a post. Hips and shoulders fake. You're stepping hard with the inside foot and you're closing the distance with him. Because if you get him to separate and now I have some space to operate back to the outside, it's a tighter angle that can allow that quarterback some space to throw me open and fade me back to the outside. That is a textbook route of how to use this vertical set. So now on the next clip, we're going to be showing a route from Stefan Diggs and how you guys can use a vertical set on a dig route to make your routes look the same. So let's play this thing again, full speed. Great job stepping on the DB's toes, using that head fake inside, and then keeping that head down to accelerate back to win on this fade. So now, same type of coverage, right? You got inside shade. Now he's going to be running this dig route. So normally, this is a more creative way to do this, but normally we talk about this a lot. When you have inside shade and you have to run an inside breaking route, what do you want to do? Do you ever want to just attack the DB's leverage and try to like square him up, if you will, attack his midline or inside shoulder? No. The answer is no. Because why was he inside shade in the first place? What did he want to take away? He wanted to take away the inside. So if you just square him up and attack his leverage, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to weave to the inside. Because when you attack a DB's leverage, he's going to keep his leverage because that's his responsibility in the coverage. So what you would want to do is you would want to attack his outside shoulder. You want to try to get him to flip his hips. You want to try to get him to open up so you could slip back underneath and give your QB space. If you just try to stem him inside and then this DB reroutes you all the way over the middle of the field, that screws up spacing and that will screw up timing with your QB. So let's play this full speed to show you guys how a vertical set can apply. So he gives fake, burst to the outside, and then is able to snap it off. Now, again, more creative way of doing what we just talked about. So when he gets to here, you see this little head fake he throws to the inside. Now, we talk about this a lot, that being a good route runner comes down to you making your routes look the same. Whether that's off the line, choosing a press release, whether that's like tempo of your routes, whether that's the type of routes that you run in your offense or a move just like this. Because I guarantee it, fellas, if you got a DB who loves to play off coverage and let's say you're backside on a play and you get him with a vertical set maybe once where you throw a hard fake inside and you try to run around him. Trust me, he's going to remember that because he never wants to get beat on a fade when he is in off coverage. The whole point of him being in zone, the whole point of him being an off man is to keep everything in front of him. He does not want to get beat deep. It is the only time he is going to let you run by him is if it's cover two and his responsibility is the flats. So 
That's what we're trying to make it look like right here. I give that head fake to the inside. I push up to this blind spot to try to get him to flip those hips, and then I'm able to snap it off. That's as simple as it comes, fellas. Now, he kind of turns almost like it's zone coverage, if you will. Um, I don't necessarily know the, the quite the DB situation that they're trying to work on here, but it would be the same thing if it was off man. If he was squared up and facing digs, you would do the exact same thing. But because he's turned to the inside, it's more like a zone coverage look. Either way is fine. You threaten him to the inside with that vertical set, and then you push back up and attack that outside shoulder or blind spot to get him to think fade, and that could slip me back underneath. Let's play this thing again full speed, and then we'll look at a route from Justin Jefferson and how you guys can use a vertical vertical set on a comeback route. Let's play this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job by Diggs throwing that fake, working up to that blind spot, and then getting separation on that inside route. So now this is like a straight up zone coverage look right here. Um, this is more like head up. He's not so much shaded, but he's going to be using a vertical set to run a comeback. So let's say... For example, you have to run like a 15 back to 12 yard comeback, right? What should your game plan be off the line if you see this kind of look? He's a little bit outside shaded, I would actually say. So what should your game plan be? A lot of people would say just attack the blind spot. So a lot of people would say off the line, you want to just go run to the blind spot of the DB. But guess what? When he's outside leverage like this, he's just going to squeeze you to the sideline. You need space to accelerate on a comeback. So I would say you want to attack the inside shoulder. So let's play this thing full speed, and that's exactly what Jefferson does. He does the vertical set, then he breaks to the blind spot, and then he's able to run this thing off. Because we were trying to make every route look like what, fellas? A fade. So how would you run a fade against this look? You would do the vertical set inside, hips and shoulder fakes, stepping hard, get this DB to hesitate, and then I would go back outside. So if you're running a comeback, a lot of people think that off the line you just want to run right here. But this DB's sole responsibility when he's outside leverage is to funnel everything to the inside towards his safety. So if you just try to run to his blind spot, he's just going to widen, he's going to squeeze you, and you're going to have maybe a yard to accelerate out of a comeback break. And let me tell you this, a QB, when you're breaking at 15, he is throwing you back to 12. He is not just throwing it right at 15. It's not just a stop route. It's a comeback route where you get to accelerate. So if you don't give yourself that space to accelerate, He's screwed. It's an impossible throw because that DB's right on your hip and he has no space to throw you open and he will not throw you the ball. So you have to give yourself some room and that's what this vertical set can do. You attack the inside shoulder, you throw the fake, now we get the DB to open up, but when I snap off this comeback, I'm tighter to him and I have space to run. If you just try to run, he will just squeeze you and you'll have no space. But if you can threaten the inside shoulder, then work to the blind spot with that vertical set, that can give you space to run out and that can give you space for the QB to throw you open. That is a textbook comeback route right there from Justin Jefferson using that vertical set move. Let's play this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job threatening the inside shoulder, selling like he's gonna run a post, then getting up to the blind spot when he is closer to the DB, due to attacking his inside shoulder. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If um, you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to uh, leave those in the comment section below. Always appreciate the feedback from you guys. You guys help keep this channel going, so we definitely appreciate it. And again, fellas, if you'd like to come out to one of our off-season camps that we have remaining this year, we are coming out to Nashville, then Salt Lake City, and then Los Angeles, California. So check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to have you guys out there. I'll see you guys next time.